just give me directions to scratch your back. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a video game code yeah. or something like yeah. that. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, left, left. Oh, the secrets to life. Yeah, that's what we're that's what we're talking about today, guys. Uh, Abram Gonzalez here with my co-pilot Nikki Magdalena and some badass Hawaiian peeps in the back. You might recognize Kalakani. No, there's Tongan back there too, isn't there? Is that? <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it, is, it is the great debate. It is the great debate. We got um, Tiani here on my right. Paul Woolley here on the left. And uh, we really don't know what we want to talk about in this video, but I figured if we're talking about cheat codes, we could probably talk about some of them right now. And I know one of the things that Cal talked about this weekend was, he talked a lot, I mean, looks like a tough guy, right? But he talked a lot about love, right? He was like, yeah, you know, I get it. I get in like this loving space and then there's like the space of creation and stuff. So, hey, I'm wondering, you know, cause we got an audience that, that really digs um, gratitude and values, values that highly as a space of creation and uh, as a center for whatever they're doing in their life. Maybe you could expand upon what you talked about this weekend, share with people how that's helped you build um, a six figure empire and how it's gonna help you go to seven and eight figures and beyond. So, uh, just for some clarity then, Abram, are you asking about like more of like, the values hierarchy or are you asking more about the, the whole like, um, the great co the, the collapse of like, find, like finding the love and, and gratitude in all things that happen at all times? I think, I think you should talk about whatever, whatever you want to because it's like you got, you've got um, success and results that a lot of people are looking for. You know, you've achieved um, huge, huge things in the last few months in your business especially. So what it, out of those two things, what has, what has contributed the most to, to your business and creating the success you have now? Oh, I would say, I would say, okay, so if we're on the topic of cheat codes, the first thing that comes to mind <laughs> is, is uh, the values hierarchy. So and on the, on, to give it kind of a, a simplified breakdown, uh, one of the things that I've learned recently is that every individual has a completely unique uh, hierarchy of values, right? So there's things that rank, there's something uh, definitely that ranks all the way up at the top. And then there's things that kind of, you know, as you go down the values hierarchy, things take less and less value. And because this is like the, f is unique to each individual as a fingerprint, no two people have the same values hierarchy. And the things that rank, uh, the, so one of the things that people get is like, they say that they want all these sorts of different things in their life. Like they say that maybe, you know, maybe I want to make a lot of money or I want to have a really good relationship or I want to lose weight, things like that. And then they don't actually manifest those things into their life. And the chat, the, the, the reason I call this kind of the cheat code is because if you understand exactly your values hierarchy, then you understand why you're saying that you want something and then you're also void of it is because it doesn't rank high enough in your, in your hierarchy for you to actually be unconsciously driven to acquire it, right? So, uh, so for example, you know, if somebody who says like maybe they want to lose weight, well, if, if they're not actually achieving those results in their life, then there's a chance that there's other things that rank above weight loss. Like maybe it's that they, they love uh, 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 leisure time, right? They love relaxing, like they value relaxing or they value downtime or they value uh, freedom uh, or because they value the, 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 the freedom, maybe they don't spend that time at the gym because that feels like work other, rather than play, uh, things like that. So the cool thing about the values hierarchy too is that when you understand it, you realize like why and people at the top, people who have the, the values that are at the top of the hierarchy are the things that will like equally endure pleasure and pain in, in search of, right? On the journey to. And then the things that are low down on the values hierarchy are the things that we want to experience like only pleasure and no pain. So for example, in business, right? A lot of people get started and say, well, I, I want to make a lot of money, but really they, they, as soon as things get challenging, they quit. Well, that's no mystery why they quit. If they quit because it doesn't rank high enough in their hierarchy for them to uh, pursue or continue or persevere through the pain of building a business. But that same person might be a mother, let's say. And the mother's, you know, the top of her our hierarchy might be children. Well, because it's way up at the top of her hierarchy, well, then she'll mm -hmm. equally endure pleasure and pain mm -hmm. in the pursuit of rearing her children, mm -hmm. right? And raising right. a family. And uh, so it kind of solves a lot of like these little, little things that people think are life's mysteries. It's really not just, it's not a mystery. It's just that you haven't really quite figured out where exactly, uh, you know, where, you know, how this is, is all playing out in your, in your particular life. So that's just something that works out for me that 
once I understood my hierarchy of values, here's the cool thing is once I understood my hierarchy, I realized why I wasn't getting the things that I wanted. And then I was able to, you know, once I had an awareness, then I could shift and change that hierarchy and get it to a place that actually supported my goals and dreams and aspirations for life. So I know you got like a book and you might have a suggestion for people in order to, because I know some people are like, well, this sounds like really good, but what if my... What if my values are so messed up and that's why I'm not getting the results that I want or like my the things that I'm unconsciously creating aren't getting me where I want to go? Uh, what's a resource that you've tapped into that's helped you become more aware of that and start to change that? Uh, there, well, there's a book called uh, The Values Factor by Dr. John Martini, And in the book, he actually goes through an exercise where he asks you 13 different questions. And as you answer each question, it becomes like glaringly obvious. As long as you're honest with yourself, I would say that's like the one pitfall is it does require a level of honesty that sometimes people aren't ready for. Uh, but mm -hmm. you do go through the 13 questions and you have three answers to each question. And it makes it pretty glaringly obvious like what what is your true value system? And what I found doing this, not just with myself, but with other team members and people that I work with, is that the average person, uh, they're either going to find that, okay, this is perfect. This is no wonder I'm getting the results that I want. Like this totally, you know, they stop beating themselves up about certain things that they feel. Like I had a friend once who did it and he realized that technology ranked really high in his, in his hierarchy, but all the time he had been beating himself up for all the money he spent on it. Well, once he realized that, once he realized that that was way up in his hierarchy, he just kind of forgave himself, let it go. And now he's opened himself up to a whole new world of possibilities because he's accepted that's part of who he is. But then I have other people who, who will do it and they, they like really start to beat up on themselves because they realize, oh shit, like, well, I guess I've been lying to myself my entire life. And uh, it's really not something that you want to beat yourself up about because the great thing is once you identify it, you can change it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Well, hey, you know, and you talk about how leisure is like way up there for for us and like our values. I'm like, that's why we're like hanging out today. We're in here in Colorado. We just wrapped up uh, the Next Level Mastermind. Just had a good time hanging out with our Killing. leaders. And Killing. like this, this is like the kind of stuff that we talk about all the time that actually shifts our business and creates massive change. Like we learned some stuff from the exercise that you put together the other day. We realized like, yeah, like, like we do value the leisure time. And you talked about like you had a friend beating himself up about the technology thing. But when we realized that leisure time and like hanging out and chilling and doing fun stuff like this is something that's valuable to us, there's no reason to beat ourselves up about like going and engaging in it. We just gotta look at like, is what we're doing in, 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 in our unconscious behavior fueling the leisure time? Or is our, are we using the leisure time to take away from like building our business? And we saw ways that, hey, um, maybe this isn't working. Uh, to, to help us build more leisure time into what we're doing. So, right. um, hey, you know, we, we talk about this all weekend, right? And there's like so much to it, but this is like the tip of the iceberg. And uh, hey, if you want to know more about this stuff, that's, that's just why you got to like lock arms with us and we can share with you like the secrets of the universe and like the, the cheat codes that we've been using to create success. So you have anything else to say before we um, go and have a good time here? No, I guess I, I don't really have all that much left to say. I, I'm kind of excited because we're about to go Hang out someplace I've never been before, and you've been here 17 years, and you've never checked this stuff out, and it sounds like a blast. So because we uh, because we value our leisure, uh, we're gonna check out of this conversation now, guys. <laughs> Appreciate you for watching. Comment below if you got something special out of this, and uh, reach out to us um, if you're interested in learning uh, the cheat codes of life and how to get even more out of this amazing life you're living. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.